Okay, folks, let's see what we can do with this one. This one looks challenging, but it could turn out a treat. It's got potential. Yeah. The nerds will inherit the copier world. Yes, they will. That wasn't a very big burp, I must admit. A bit boring, but anyway, whatever. Gonna leave it on 100. I think I know what I'm going to do with this. Okay, let's see what this challenging piece is. It is a dress, a nice looking dress with some soft sheer fabric and then at the top here we've got the, the sequins and the diamantes. They look like glass ones, cut crystal perhaps. Let's see what we can do with this. I'm going to make it into a movement piece. Sorry folks, I'm just trying to put it all on the glass of this silly uh, copier system and we're just going to spin it around with those lovely diamantes and sequins Yeah, that looks interesting. We've got some interesting effects here. We might be able to utilise that first go. Uh, we'll do that. We'll see. We'll, yeah, why, why not? Why not, folks? So we're not going to do a, a marbled piece with this one. We're going to do something different. Hence, since we didn't have a difficulty trying to turn this one out, um, I'm just going to now... Put it on the glass up in the corner there. So just try and keep it straight, keep it in a whatever. Sorry folks, I do get a bit tongue-tied sometimes, folks. I'm trying to explain myself. Yeah, that looks interesting. Uh, I do think, yeah, I do wonder if I could have done it better. Um, it still looks like it's not what I want. Um, let's see, I think that's the top, if I remember correctly, and that's the side, but the side needs to go across. I do think, I do think so. So going to try and hold it hold it on the glass and just try and see where the, the bottom of this is maybe we can slide it up this is probably not going to work very well I don't know folks Yeah, that looks better. That looks a lot better. We've got some more action happening. Uh, wondering if we can slide enlarge it on the horizontal and we get a really nice shape in the middle. So that might work, hopefully. But we can't go any further. It's 400. Ah, limits. That's the limit of this uh, fucking copier system is the fact that it only enlarges up to 400 percent but we could still we can work with this i think so 
they haven't made enlargements uh, any larger for since way back. That's what I hate about the the photocopier industry as we know it. They don't seem to have any any new ideas or exciting ideas, and they don't seem to make bigger enlargements like they used to. Like a new generation of if for almost every new generation of copier system, you you would often get. Uh, an enlarge more enlargement capacity but now it's like what the fuck they just use the same old fucking software legacy software and it's really very very boring and yeah it's boring and you can see that the imagination has dried up because the wrong people are employed the man behind Konica Minolta, his name is Shai Yamana. He's a real idiot. He's a real dick. And he doesn't seem to get it. He thinks he just wants to make loads of truckloads of money. He doesn't care about anything else but the bloody money. Huh. He's an idiot. He's a tard. A fucking dumbass. And he is. He's stupid. And I have no respect for the likes of him. And the status quo that has arisen. I don't like it, folks. It's all about money. All these limits and all this stuff, you know? And they change the hardware, and the hardware becomes unusable uh, when it when they've got a new 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 uh, new equipment. They just make the new equipment the parts un, are incompatible with this with the old equipment, so they can make you buy another piece of shit as soon as they discontinue the spare parts and that's really bad and I've had to deal with it firsthand with this dumb company I had an old Konica Minolta and it was what was called the Biz Hub C353 and it was already old but then the machine broke down in 2018 and I had to get a, get take out a bank loan and get this machine because the spare parts could not be guaranteed and therefore the service agreement was voided and I had to pay for a technician to come and try and fix it without the spare parts of course the guarantee so you know it wasn't worth doing that so I had to just fucking get get a bank loan and and get this sucker so basically yeah it really sucks anyway that looks really quite Nice, I think now we can call this demo quits.